can I be my most fit at the age of 40? There's no way, right? I don't know, Heaves. They do say at 40, you're over the hill. Ladies and gentlemen, the age 40 is real. Respect that age, or that age will will make you respect this. Having just turned 40, I don't like this concept and I wanna push back against it. I think I can be at my best and getting better. So for the next 12 months, we're gonna retest elements of my fitness. Can I be stronger, more powerful, have better endurance, and more fit than my younger self? We will find out in this series, Fittest at 40. Yeah, this is a series. And today's episode focuses solely on strength. Can I pee on my back squat, bench press, and deadlift at this ripe old age? Roll footage. Joining my quest today are the bros, Marsden and Julian, our resident lunatic, Billy Robs, and the best hype man I could think of, 10-time CrossFit Games athlete, Cole Sager. Ladies and gentlemen, Cole Sager. Isn't he so handsome? Stop, stop. It's good to see you, homie. You want to see what the secret is? Right here. I've worn these one other time. It was in the Santa video when I had Justin Madera dressed as Santa and I was hitting some snatches, but I haven't actually tried to PR in them, so. Seeing Marston in weightlifting shoes is like walking down him listening to rap. I see no changes. <laughs> You got a fresh new patch of pump. So this is a pump situation, huh? This is a pump situation. We got creatine. We did get some coaching advice from Rob Kearney. So let's roll to that so we can we can come back and start eating and preparing for what's about to happen. You are now in the presence of a- oh, yeah. What's up, dude? What do you do 24 hours, 48 hours in advance? Do you carb load? Do you, do you meat load? What do we do here? Meat load. We want to keep it mostly clean, except tonight and tomorrow night, you're gonna go bacon, cheeseburger, double fries. <laughs> 36 hours. Let's go. Growing up weights, bro. Yeah, so that's gonna be tonight's tomorrow. That's just gonna give us really good amount of sodium. That's gonna flush everything into the muscles, give us a nice, you know, strong base to go off of day of. Now, day of nutrition. What you're gonna wanna do is about 10 minutes before you go on the platform, you're gonna wanna have half a rice crispy and then some kind of fast acting candy um, or gummy or something like that about two minutes before you go out. So Rice Krispie Treat 10, and then like two I'm minutes close. before I go out, like like Harry Bow gummy bears. Just set it with like a uh, uh, watermelon sour patch. Perfect, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, big fan of sour patch watermelon. I like the original with like children. Okay, so because of that, I brought in Rice Krispie Treats, you know? This is my kind of fitness. This isn't that different from how I prepare for an event of the CrossFit Games. <laughs> oh, Everyone's got a whiteboard with their goals written down on it for each one of the lifts. This is my numbers. Okay. More than the bras. <laughs> what happens if I don't hit these? The punishment for not hitting your own goals, because this is you versus you, okay. except for Cole versus the bros, is you have to eat a cold hot dog for every goal you do not hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got fresh ballpark franks from across the street. They're just getting lukewarm over Dude, here. Fresh. <laughs> you gotta take it in one bite. <laughs> Let's just start by saying none of our numbers are going to be all that impressive. We are not competitive in the powerlifting sport. <laughs> These aren't powerlifting standards. These are standards yes. against my younger self. Yes. So if I counted the rep in the same standard before, we're beating that today. Yep. That's the only yep. rule. Yeah. I've always just trained for overall health and fitness. Nothing ever too sport specific. So I have a great foundation of functional movement, but my theory was if I went super sport specific for a certain period of time, six to 12 weeks, I would be able to PR these things. A program that has helped me get strong in the past is super squats. There's a whole book about it, but to sum it up, once or twice a week, you hit a 20 rep max back squat, going up five to 20 pounds every time you squat. On this time through the squat cycle, I worked up to 275 pounds. Yes! Yes! That was a life goal right there. Go has got a brand new interface and stuff. Oh, hey, Jeffrey Adler, if you hit that daily, they got new classic flows. Like if you work a desk job, you can hit this one. And it's got a flow for people that are sitting at their desk all day. If you wanna have a morning flow or like a bedtime flow, They've got a whole bunch of new stuff in there for you to check out. You say bedtime flow? I got a bedtime flow, bro. We've just hit a bunch of movements. My glutes are on fire, so we're starting with a glute roll. Someone's getting a call right oh now. Oh my god, bro, amateur. I'm an 
Nailed it. Goal was 335? 10,000 pounds. My goal weight was 340. And to be honest, I didn't feel confident with that. I really didn't. I have not put 340 on my back in probably over a decade. Bullshit. Dead ass. A decade. Well, maybe box squats, but I don't count those. So I was just trying to hit 335. That seemed reasonable because my lifetime PR is 380. And I'm like, I haven't been doing this. We'll see how it feels. So 335 is the goal. 335 was the goal. 327, dog. I put a little tongue at the bottom because I'm about to lap it up. Previously on the show, I PR'd my back squat at 327 pounds. Oh, oh. PR, baby. Woo. Let's go. Quickly after that, though, I attempted 331 pounds for an epic fail. So today, anything north of 327 is going to be a victory. He's in the he's zone. Jamming. He's, he's jamming. He's jamming. Yeah, he's zoned out. <laughs> he's got the Rice Krispies. He's 10 minutes out. He's 10 minutes out. I was thinking 295. It's 285 right now, so yeah, we're right about the same. Easy. I didn't know if that was my knees or the Rice Krispies. <laughs> There's so much crackling going on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's just chilling at the box again. It's got one buck. It's these knees, sure, bro. Yeah, it's these yeah. knees. I haven't been hitting heavy weights. I hit moderate weights regularly on the back squat. I don't ever go above 300, moderate, 200 and, <laughs> 200 and a quarter, 250. Peter. I think I got another 20 in me, guys. Based off of the way I moved that last one, yeah. do you say I go from 315 to 335? Is Absolutely. that too big? Work. No, you had great speed. Okay, that's a good jump. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys saw his speed, especially if that's what you're aiming for? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't, I mean, you wouldn't put another one in between you. No, because I mean, you, you're, that's just more low that you're lifting. You True. have a chance of like dicing your nervous system a little bit too much and like, you already moved with good speed. I would brace better and I'd go for it. Okay. 275 felt pretty good. I don't think I had a belt for that. And then I had a little debate with Billy on if I should go all the way up to my PR weight or hit one more in between. And we decided that I should put on my lifters instead of my J's and hit 315. There we go. It's gonna be my first attempt. And this is to secure me not eating the glizzy. So 335. Yeah. Wait, you are now in the presence of a. King. Wow, he's not, he's not just doing it once, he's wrecking it. We're not worthy. Holy shit. Wow. 335 felt easy, it felt comfortable. Another one. Put the weightlifters on. I haven't put those on in a good amount of time. No, 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 no. Oh, we're 335. So I'm five pounds away. All right, we're going up to my weight. 340. It's coming. Oh, oh, there we go. Right there. Special shirt. There we go. For the man himself. All right, here we go. 340. Come on, Easy. Oh, yeah. oh. Got it. Got it. Got it. That felt good. If I was to do math correctly, that's actually 345. Oh! <laughs> I didn't put the weight Wait, on. I'll take it. I actually I'll watched it. it happen and I was like, he moved it so well, he's just gonna do it. Then came the moment of truth. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh! My first attempt to PR anything on this new journey. I had that failure of 331 pounds in the back of my mind, but would my years of building and all my efforts to get here Pay off. Introduce you guys to my friend, the quad father Catherine. Hi guys. You How are a world champion powerlifter. Oh my god. I hold some world records. You know, world records. I hold they some they world records. They come, they go. 35 years competing? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. And how old are you? We don't need to say. I'm 62. 62 years old. Throwing around probably more weight than I am today. I don't know. What is how, do, how do my lift look? Your squat looks really good. If you, if you could remember to bring your elbows forward when you're in the hole. You're big and forward, and you're actually gonna try to like lift that bar off your shoulders and spot up. Uh, but otherwise, it was beautiful, and it made depth. 
in the Federation I compete in, which is USB. Take that, all you haters of my death! Three. What was your last match in the back? 347. I went up because my boys went up. Julie at 360. And then I was looking to Coach Cole, I'm like, what would you suggest I do here? And he's like, I suggest you go by five pounds. You, you have the least wiggle when you walk out of the other group, so. 345, hit it. At least 50. Hit it. And I was like, I'm good. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, and I think I'm good there. 350, I'm happy. This is a little sticky. Is that cold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold, mind if I just course, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, not four. Not for one. Not even half the half the man he is. Three forty, forty years old. Do it to my boy. Wait, technically, you have to hit the 370. Oh. <laughs> Betty can't get five. You are now in the presence of a. Oh, yeah. uh, easy. Go. Okay, the goal on the back squat was 335. I ended up getting 350, so glizzy free. What about you? My back squat was 340 was my goal. I got uh, 370, not bad. But you gotta do more than bro, so I just showed him what I could do, you know? <laughs> yeah, you did, you did. You guys saw that. My goal was 328, hit 340, dude. Goal 335, 355, baby. Ba bam We're gonna move on to bench next. We need to talk about the butter game. Welcome to your first night of Butter Gang. The first rule of Butter Gang is you don't talk about Butter Gang. The second rule of Butter Gang is you don't talk about Butter Gang. Hang on, dude. We spread butter, we spread joy, we lather up the world with some happiness, man. So you want to talk about Butter Gang? That's what I want to do. Oh, my bad, man. That was way off. Join the Butter Gang. All right. We got a Black Friday sale coming on right now. Go get yourself some merch from the Butter Gang. Bye, honey. Now we get into the bench press. This is one, like I said before, I was really nervous about. I PR my bench press back in April. It's not Billy's birthday. Of course. Why wouldn't you hit a 280 back uh, bench press? Oh, buddy! <laughs> 280! 225, this guy. Yeah, back in his football days, 22 reps. I'm gonna go for one. My goal weight was 280, and I was like, I'm on a bit off more than I could chew. And I was like, look, look at what Julian's doing. I'm like, he's a conservative little guy over there. Right. Yeah. He's blowing away from his weights, and I was like, man, I'm, I'm gonna be pretty close to eating a hot dog here. You guys are over here. I'm now working out with my friend Catherine. Let's go, Catherine, let's go! Oh, drive, drive, drive. Oh. Yeah! 185, five pounds over her all time PR. She had a lot of little quick tips. And the cue is, Bend the bar with your pinkies. Like, Great coaching cues yeah, coming from her. Absolutely. She's she, local to our gym. Either. She'll call you on your shit. They're, they're kicking ass. I, I don't know what else to say. I worked up slowly from 195. I think I did 235. When I got to 265, it basically went to a dead stop on my chest. Yeah. Let's go, go, go. 
And that moment right there is when fear really started to come in. And not just for me. That was a fight. 265. What were you thinking on that one? Honestly, I didn't think it, like it landed on my chest and there was no control coming down. So I was very nervous when I got down there, but I was like, I'll just see if I can push it a little harder. That inner strength? Yes, yeah, that inner strength. I need to do more bench if I want to PR this. This is when I need to PR though, so we'll see. That's gonna be heavy. Uh, felt kind of heavy to you. <laughs> like energy levels were high. <laughs> but my performance was low. Yeah, you're used to that though. <laughs> Your energy disappointed me. <laughs> and I love you. There we go. <laughs> Fear started to cloud over my thoughts. The fear of letting myself down and the very real fear of having to take down a glizzy. Bro, what happened? What happened? Hey, we got three tries. We got three tries. <laughs> but I've been working on taking down a lot of food lately because one way to add more weight to your lifts is to add more weight to your frame. And I've been doing that. Back in July, after a minor cut, I was at 159 pounds. For most of August and September, I traveled minimally, slept maximally, and slammed as much protein as I could while counting my macros for the majority of meals I had while I was home. All right, fully clothed. Then with food, clothes, rain, and hope, I landed on the scale just before walking into the gym. 183.6. That is by far the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life. But hey, mass moves mass. I'm so pumped I'm over 180 right now. <laughs> this is the first time in my life. Mass, mass moves mass, baby. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start at 270. The goal is 280, but we'll see. Oh! Back in the gym, Mars was feeling better, while Julian was showing he clearly sandbagged his goals. Who thinks this guy was way too conservative? Let us know uh. in the comments. Because now he and Cole were in the middle of a head-to-head -head bench off. 300 pounds, go! Yes. Ah. You guys need a glizzy for picking a goal that was too much of a wuss for us. Yeah. Yeah. So what should I go to? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Yep. This is a goal I wanted to have on video just to show my future kids. Let's go. For my unborn children. Chuck, I'm gonna put one of these rubber bands here on the way. So I strapped on two green bands, and that locked me in place. To secure the glizzy. All right, here we go, here we go. Whoa, oh, yeah. Bet on me and my team. ISO is what I'm rapping. Put off for the whole city. Yeah, I got them rocking with me. 280 felt like it was everything I had. I, I drained the tank. I'm happy, I don't have to hit the, eat the glizzy, I'm good there, and I, and I backed out. Phenomenal performance by your boy. I mean, really? You have a phenomenal performance? Yeah, I'm gonna say it was phenomenal. You know what I mean? With that translucent turkey meat there, buddy? Yeah, I know. Ed, yeah. hey, yeah. I'm taking this shit personal. Hey, this, this is the PR. This will, you know, he already got one on the back squat. Let's see if you can get it on that bench.
It was an honorable loss. I was like a samurai out there. Honorable loss. <laughs> I got three tender. <laughs> All right, pulling the board main. It's uh, on the more than a bros train. Oh, they skin my teeth. Yeah. I don't forget. I want one more. Yeah. I, want, I'm, I want one more at bat. You know what I mean? One more at bat. enjoying the show today please leave a comment down below like this video please turn on subscriptions that really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm and it allow you to follow along on this journey this is only part one we've got other things from Olympic lifting CrossFit open marathon Ironman way too ambitious plans for myself but together we're gonna find a way to get it done okay so on the bench press the goal was 280 I got 280 no glizzy what about you 290 what I get? 310. My goal, 281. I hit my goal, 281. I don't know how to put this, but my goal was 285, and I unfortunately got 265. Listen. I know how to put it. Ow. I know how to put oh, it. Put it in your mouth. Oh my God. I've never seen such a thing. That was more impressive than his bench. You hit the back of my throat. You feel too old for a deadlift? I feel so cool. We're good. We hold. You good? We're good. We're solid. Right. Solid. Let's get it. <laughs> the last and final lift today is the deadlift. Now I've PR'd this multiple times on the show. Most recently, that number though is 427 pounds. So anything north of that is going to be a dub. I did two massive things to get ready for today's lift. One, I would pull heavier than I would normally pull comfortably, but with an elevated position so the barbell would be just below the knees. This allowed me to pull heavy weight that I had no business doing from the floor and feel safe in the process. Ooh. Number two, once a week I was doing lots of these. Yeah, back extensions. This was my setup. Four rounds of 15 weighted reps into 15 unweighted reps, totaling out at 120 back extensions. My erectors felt as deep as the Grand Canyon, but strong as hell. So with all of that, am I gonna be ready to pull more than 427 pounds today? Let's go! Let's go! Go, go, go! What did you deadlift at Fit Climb? 402. 402 pounds. Now, of course, I trained for it, and I haven't trained for crap right now. Okay. You have to hang on to the bar and let it go. If you drop that bar, red light. Buttery invitational rules, drop from the top. Yeah. Go from the top, go from the top. Go from the top. Goes right that shit. <laughs> After 
picture the hype and energy of having like six max lift attempts on other lifts, I was I was feeling it in the CNS. Oh yeah. But I think we did 245, like 335. Yep. And then we went to 385. Yes, that's the dosing. We good! That was amazing! Oh, wow. I'm so, so fired up right now. Wow. Where did you start to get nervous on that one? It was 405, okay, because that's four big wheels. My right. first attempt, 405. It's been a minute. You Got a bag of back, so if I get this, I'm done. I'm just gonna be. You tap out of 405. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I wasn't trying to be greedy. If I get that, I'll be stoked. I'm not gonna go beyond that. I'm not trying to have a back out of me. Good about that. Yeah. Good about that. It's a little stiff. What's in it? It's just, just ammonia. Oh, oh. shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, that hurts my nose. Thank you. This is my angle. I look good at this. Whenever I go to a new gym, I'm trying to like assert my dominance. I hit this pose. Cole and I and Jules were all sitting there. I'm supposed to be at 415. Is my, uh... Do you want to try 415 or you want to try that? I thought I just go for 415. How'd your 85 boot? All right. And Cole asked me, he looked me straight in my soul. Yeah, he did. Uh, if I told you to go hit this, would you go hit it? Probably. Then go hit 415. And I, with 100% confidence, went in and said, I got this easy. Yeah. I'm glad we had that conversation. Yeah. Why the clips? I don't, need, I don't need that extra gram. That's not going on the board. You know, it's got 451 plus clips. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he Easy. gave you some false confidence. Yeah. Oh, he did. <laughs> and no, honestly, looking at your hamstrings, I thought for sure too. I know. Yeah. I just don't got the back for it anymore. Man, you're like a game of inches. Yeah, game of inches. Oh, you see that, Billy? Oh, you see that, Billy? You see that? Honestly, I was seeing the energy Heber was bringing. It was big. It was, it was big, big energy. Let's go. Let's go. By proxy, I felt, I felt strong. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Meanwhile, Julian's just blowing past the rep. Yeah. It's like he's lifting a pool toy. Yeah. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing because he's, he's been just like running in San Francisco. <laughs> I went back, restarted at 225. Most importantly, we found out that Mars got 405. Yeah. And I was like, bro, you don't do 405. Yeah. At least put the fraction plates on yeah. there. Get that yoga body. It. It, was, it was eight short of our goal, but hey, got you got it. it. And then I jumped to the PR weight, which was 430. I'm thoroughly impressed. The dude just went three for three on PRs today. He's been working hard, you can tell. He's, he's looking jacked. Everybody go let him know how good he looks in the comments, you know? Because I'm 40, loaded up 440. <laughs> Heber set the, the tone. He set the tone. I was like, he got that. That chihuahua? And I'm like, I'm a Lisa Pibble. The energy was electric. I couldn't believe Cole was having a battle with Jules. Right? Do you? CNS. CNS. Uh, CNS. Uh, CNS. Yeah, CNS. You know? I thought he was just going to like mop the floor with all of us. No, nope, no. Nope. Jules had our back. He was and like, I'm the boys are like, representing right now. Is Cole going to have to eat a glizzy? <laughs> a glizzy? And with the energy of the other guys, I was like, I'm kind of feeling left out. I want to hit 445. Oh, I think I'm
a glizzy today, dog. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the yeah. thing. You either gotta do more than him to get him to eat a glizzy. Or just tie him. And then he has to go he has to go up again. Uh, that's right. That's what I should have did in a bench press. That's I right. should've did 312. Okay. Oh, let's go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm starting to taste like a dog in the mouth, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I want you folks at home to hear this. What, what was this? What was this? I'll, I'll, I'll take down a cold hot dog. Ah! Oh, trying to lose the win, boys. <laughs> this is for you guys. This is for you guys. Let's go. Workout data provided by Whoop. All right, I was at 8.9 strain, but I felt like this was kind of cool. It says strength-based activities focus on breaking down muscle rather than working a cardiovascular system, so your strain may be lower than your perceived effort. That's yeah, that's very accurate. Yeah. My strain was a 12.7. I spent most of that in zone one, and every now and then I peaked up to zone three, but my stress level throughout the whole thing was extremely high. Shout out to the Butter Gang. Here we go. We got the most recovered today. Her name is Molly Russell. Tell me about Molly Russell. She's a level 21, 1047 recoveries, 13.6 average day strain. Just to name a few things. Walking, functional fitness, and stairmaster. Stair master, I didn't yeah. know you could mow on stairmaster. Yeah, yeah, I log it all the time. What are we gonna what, send her? Uh, I don't know. What? Where's Where's G U? You think? Last time everyone gave us crap because we said D E. Does that? Is that Denmark? Is that from Germany? Is that Is that Delaware? We don't know. Molly Russell, we're gonna send you a year subscription to GoWad. So make sure you slide in my DMs on Instagram so we can hook you up. That concludes the whoop and the butter gang. We out. This isn't your profession. This like you're not doing this professionally. But you're tossing around and moving some serious load, and it's like, honestly, that is it's extremely impressive. I think honestly, to me as a professional athlete, it's equally as inspiring as watching somebody like Tanner lift six ten. I honestly probably more inspiring. It's really it's a really cool thing, and I don't want that to get lost on people. And you guys are moving some serious loads. Dude, thank you. Appreciate yeah, yeah, that. heck yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. This is a blast. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. no. <laughs> uh, yeah, wait, I'm, so oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That just happened, boys. That just happened. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh. a little protein oh. pick me up. Oh, oh, oh Mark. Yeah. It's almost meat in the mouth. <laughs> Swallow. Swallow. Don't use words like that. All right, on the deadlift, my goal was 405 and I hit 405, so I'm in the clear. Uh, my goal was 415 and I hit. 407, unfortunately. Oh, Billy, for you. <laughs> Take that. One bite, get it all in there. There you go. Oh, good. Oh. Redemption. Oh, that's true for today. I don't even feed those to my dog. Watch so Billy sorry, choke down two yeah. today. That would brought yeah. a lot of enjoyment to me. Just chugging some And let meat. us know. If Julian just was such a conservative guy, yeah. he, he should be taking down a couple of ballparks himself. That's none for me. My goal was 418 and I uh, took a win from Cole, baby. Well earned, 470. 470. I, think, I think because you were over 100 off on what you expected to hit today, yeah, that's a that's glizzy good. fail. We'll put one comment down below, and if that comment gets 50 likes, Jules has to glizzy up. If you guys leave 50 comments that Julian has to glizzy up, he'll eat two down. On the next episode, we got a hot dog. I'll for take us. two down. I'll okay. take two down to get 50 comments. My goal was 429 pounds. I hit 445 pounds. I went three for three at 40. You can be your fittest of 40s, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you're saying you're segmenting everything, Heber, how can this count as being the fittest at 40? Well, I went to the director of competition for the CrossFit Games, Adrian Bosman, the no rep man himself, and here's what he had to say about it. Okay, so you just turned 40 too. I, I did, you beat me to the punch by like a week and a day. So as a human, I'm trying to be on my power list, yep. my Olympic list in next quarter, we are the CrossFit spectrum, and then lean out and PR my marathon and Ironman times. All in the same year. All in the same year. Does that make me the fittest I've ever been at 40? Or because it's segmented, does it change it? No way, bro. I think that's fittest year ever. I think I think it yeah. counts. Right. Count it. Mark count it. it. Mark it. it. Look, I first have to accomplish it. Yeah. And then we'll count it. Okay. Now you just speak it into existence. You got it. <laughs> exactly. You got it. Yeah. All right, Tony yeah. Robbins. Hell yeah. yeah. Boz has got my back. Up next, when my journey for fittest at 40 is Olympic lifts. Can I PR my clean and jerk and snatch? We'll find out probably in the new year.